All right, so today we are going to talk about how you can get a high salary marketing job guaranteed, all right? So think about this for a second. High salary to me means over a healthy six figures, over a hundred thousand, over two hundred thousand, over three hundred thousand dollars a year, sometimes even up to five hundred thousand dollars plus. This is a high salary marketing job. So there's a couple things that you can do to to really stand out. When I think about um, the jobs I've interviewed for in, in the past where a high salary was was offered to me, and I'll, I'll share a couple of stories here, the stories will really show you kind of what people value and how it can guarantee how, how this can be guaranteed for you because I think if I can do it I think anybody can do it one of the job offers I got was a base salary of about two hundred fifty thousand dollars or so plus a million in bonuses I remember interviewing for this company and um, you know they sat me down with the CEO they sat me down with the chief operating officer as well and then basically I had to do the dog and pony show for about uh, two days I, I basically went through interviews for two days literally I had to go to I had to fly over to them and, and do all these interviews and um, when they're talking to me they're really they were looking for someone that had the experience in a specific niche right so in this case it was a uh, related to, related to education and I had a background in online education that gave me a leg up because I had a track record of success as well and I've managed people they're looking at that like does this person have experience is this the person the right person for the job so even though you think experience might not be that important when it comes to more senior role when it comes to high stakes kind of situation you are going to need experience there the other thing is they want people that are going to bring forth solutions they don't just want someone that says i see a lot of stuff that's wrong with the world they want someone that's actually going to take accountability like Sure, they see an issue, they're going to bring up a potential solution, and they're going to own that. They're going to be accountable for that. They want people that are also really good at recruiting too. So you might think you're a really good uh, individual contributor, but when it comes to getting paid a healthy six figures, I'm talking about making 250, 300 grand plus, you are going to have to be a really good recruiter as well. Bonus points if you're if you're a thought leader, that actually helps you a little bit too, because that's going to make it a little easier for you when it comes to when it comes to recruiting. Because think about it this way: when you're making that amount of money, ultimately what you're looking for is you just want need to be able to cover your living expenses. If you have a family, you sure you need to cover the kids, you need to cover the, the wife and everything. But you really don't need that much money to survive. When you think about this, it's like, oh, okay, cover all, all you need and then the rest is all gravy. So if you're making that amount of money, let's let's assume your 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 spouse is working as well. You're good. You're golden, right? When I look at people that were recruiting, I, I do often look at do they think about culture? Do they think about recruiting? Are they also good at what they do? But not only that, are they good at listening to people too? Are they good at not being the best person in the room? Are they good at being humble too, right? Do they fit in with our core values? Like these things are all important um, when it comes to getting a, a high paying marketing job. Now I'll, I'll take you to another story. When I was um, going to work at an uh, online education company called Treehouse, uh, I got grilled. I got grilled by I got grilled by the CEO, and I was actually in competition with a bunch of other CMOs for the job. And the the CEO wanted under wanted to know that if I understood his company or not. Did I really do research on his company? Did I have good ideas already for how I would grow the company? And I had to talk about those ideas. Like, what am I going to do for the first 90, uh, 90 days, or first 180 days or so? I think the only reason I beat out the other CMOs who had more experience than me in this scenario was because I came with a more dynamic package, meaning I knew how to manage people. I knew how to do SEO because originally the, the role was for SEO, but it eventually uh, because he saw what he, what he saw, it became a, a much bigger role where I was leading marketing. I knew how to do paid media. I knew how to do email marketing. I knew people in the space, so I was able to cobble a team together too. And so we were able, able to make that happen. But it was because I was a lot more dynamic. And I, I what I would say here is if you want a high paying marketing job, think about how you can be a Swiss army knife. S sometimes like there, there's, there's a time and a place for specialists, but when you want a high paying marketing job, you gotta be kind of dynamic, right? So you gotta be very, in order to become dynamic, you have to be very humble. You have to be very hungry and you have to be very smart, right? Smart's not just IQ, but also EQ too. You have to be studying what the best people are doing. Study them on Facebook, study them on Twitter, go to these conferences, talk to people, network, right? That's how you get better and better and better. You have to keep staying hungry. That's how you stay ahead of the, the curve. And you learn and you build a network because you're always out there, you're learning, you're trying to get better. And you're out there teaching too. That's how you become stronger. That's how you build leverage around your, your, your personal brand. So you can get any job you want, any marketing job you want. When I think about Dave Gearhart, he was the... CMO or not CMO, the VP of marketing at Drift and Drift's growing very quickly. He was able to work work with Drift, help Drift, and he, he was able to build his personal brand over the years as well. Um, now he's a CMO over at uh, Privy. He was able to make that happen because he had a strong brand. He had a lot of good ideas. He was a very dynamic marketer. He connected well with people and then people liked him for that, right? Ryan Bonicci is another good example. He's at G2. He used to work at HubSpot. Then he transitioned over to G G2, but it's because of the depth of knowledge his relationships and 
because he's so dynamic, he was able to get a very healthy job um, working at, at G2. Now, I'll give you a final example. When I was um, doing work for a t-shirt company, uh, I was I was freelancing. I was, I was basically like an Upwork and then this guy, um, he selected me to work with him and I was getting paid, you know, I, I think maybe 30, 40, $50 an hour or something like that. And I was doing good work and I kept bringing new ideas. I kept pushing it. You gotta be hungry, right? I, I mentioned that earlier. I wasn't just satisfied with doing the work. I was like, hey, what about this? What about this? What about this? Can we try this? Can we try this? Can we try this, right? I just kept bringing in all these new ideas to the point where he's just like, dude, can you just come work for me full time? And like, let's just do that because I need someone to actually implement all this. Like I can't do it. I'm too busy for it. Even a couple months ago, he hit me up. Actually, he texted me uh, a couple weeks ago, but a couple months ago, he was like, I'm still upset that you didn't come work for me um, in Philadelphia. And I'm just like, yeah, man, t-shirts just aren't my thing. But that was a high offer. It was like 5%, um, you know, uh, profit sharing. It was high six figures, but it was because, again, it comes back to the, the, the baseline. Am I hungry? Am I gonna continue to learn? And then am I gonna continue to teach? And then because I'm learning, I'm building relationships with other people. Because I'm learning, I'm bringing amazing ideas to the table. Because I'm doing all these things, then I get offered the high salary. It doesn't work the other way. You don't just get a high salary. It doesn't work like that. The fact that you're watching this right now means that, look, you're hungry enough. I'm just challenging you to continue to stay hungry because if you don't, someone else is gonna, someone else hungrier than you is gonna come by and they're gonna take that job that you've been looking for. And you can make two, 200, 300, $100,000, $400,000, $500,000 a year US or wherever you live, you're gonna make a lot of money because they see you as indispensable. You are the learner, you bring the ideas. Not only that, you're executing on them, you're recruiting, you're taking work off their plate. You're not just, you know, the regular employee that they're gonna hire that's gonna take orders. Every single leader out there is not, ideally they're not looking for order takers, especially when they're hiring the first few people, they don't want order takers. Like maybe when the company's a lot bigger, you, order takers are fine, but order takers eventually take, like if it's a smaller organization, they take away energy and they don't let your A players do their best work. That's why you don't want, you, you don't want, ideally you don't wanna work with them, right? All that to say, this is how you get a high salary guaranteed. And if you can't get, I mean, you can go to our, our careers page. I mean, we're always looking to hire people, singlegrain.com slash careers. And if you can prove yourself to be amazing, we're, we're always willing to make something happen, right? I'll, I'll tell you this, the leaders will make way, even, even if they have to go get a loan or something like that, or have to borrow money from friends and family to afford really good people, they will do it because it, that, it's that important to grow their business, all right? So let me know what you think in the comments below. What are you gonna do to get that high paying salary for yourself um, guaranteed? And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button because it helps us grow. And don't forget to check out the next video over there and we'll see you tomorrow.